Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Ash Morant and yes, this is the update leading up to the 49ers going to the Packers. It's going to be a huge game. So let's be quick with the injuries. So it has been told that Bosa could expect it to start Saturday. Fred Warner could be expected to start Saturday. And we heard that Jimmy G has now got a shoulder sprain on his throwing arm and it looks limited. His practice were limited. So, it's not looking good as we imagined, but I found this bit of news here. So, as you can see, the Niners are trying Lance to intimidate Aaron Rodgers in practice as prep for Packers. So, here we go. Train Lance will play a vital role in the 49ers this week as he's prepared to face the Green Bay Packers. The rookie quarterback is tasked with being Aaron Rodgers for the scout team in practice this week. We need Trey to be very aggressive, let it rip. Uh, Coach Carl Shannon said so Tuesday, NBC Sports Bay Area. Uh, hopefully, if he does make some mistakes in practice, our defense will catch it and make him pay. But we need to make him aggressive in everything he does, because Aaron Rodgers doesn't miss many, many of those opportunities when they uh, presented to him. Uh, with Jim G set to play for a soldier injury Saturday against the Green Bay, uh, the, the Niners asking Lance to beat Rodgers as the defense prepares for the for Super Bowl uh, NFL MVP. Aaron Rodgers does a real good job of not making bad decisions and not turning the ball over, Shannon says. But he also makes all his plays down the field wherever you're just, uh, wherever you're off just a hair. Lance has spent time during his rookie campaign uh, attempting to intimidate different quarterbacks during practice, from Carl Murray to Chris uh, to Carl Kirkins, and now Rodgers. The rookie has said that there is a benefit in, in his development from studying other quarterbacks in his practice role. The 49ers defense isn't expecting Lance to be. Impeccable as Rodgers in practice, but his ability to make off scheduled plays can help them prepare uh, nothingless. Uh, I'll be tall asked to tell Trey to go be Aaron Rodgers for three days before we head out there. Linebacker Fred Warner said, I know Trey has been doing an outstanding job this year and I'll know he continues to do a great job this week. Uh, it's one of those situations where you don't really feel Aaron Rodgers until you out there against him, against the man himself. <laughs> <clears throat> you can watch all the tape you want, think you've got him figured out, but you're going into the game and, and getting into the flow of things to really f get things going. Rodgers has a 104.7 career passer rating in 12 starts against the 49ers, the highest passing rate as a starter by any quarterback, including playoffs, versus 49ers all-time in 10 starts. The Niners beat Rodgers Packers in their last postseason matchup in the 2019 NFC Championship game, whipping Green Bay 37 to 20, in a game in which the quarterback threw for 326 yards with two touchdowns and two interceptions. The All Pro uh, signal caller led a last-second comeback against the 49ers in Week Three, needing just 30 seconds to get into the field goal range for the game winner. Every game is uh, as its own game, and each year and each situation, each team is different. Shanahan said, "Everyone knows Rodgers is the man." But this doesn't have to do with the last time we meet in the playoffs and doesn't have to do with our game earlier this year. It's one game and it's going to be on Saturday and it's all three and a half hours and it's the team right now versus their team. It's going to be simple as that. So, seems to me that when they get out there, Jimmy G's is going to be frozen right on his shoulder, right straight to his thumb. So Trey, I reckon we'll probably have a few snaps himself that's what i think will happen i think you know there was a an interview with jimmy g saying uh he doesn't know if he's going to start or not i think he will start but i think trey is going to be back in him 100 and he needs to be trey lance needs to be on there this guy like jimmy g is becoming broken he's done very good so far i have to admit even i've said a bad word or two about jimmy g in total i still think you should lose the 49ers regardless I still think that to this day, and that's my opinion. But leave a comment, tell me what you think. But this guy needs Trey Lance on. He needs to experience that best Aaron Rodgers, that best MVP guy. Has to. Do I think the 49ers could win? I think the 49ers could really do well in this game. I really think that. Week 3, we lost by 2 points. I think it's 30-28 because of that field goal. But we've got them. Every time we've played them, um, which I'll show you now. So this come up quick. CBS Sports Headquarters on Twitter. Aaron Rodgers' career against the 49ers in the playoffs. 
lost on the road in 2012 divisional round, lost at home in 2013 wild card, and of course lost on the road in 2019 NFC Championship. So do I think we have a chance against the Packers? I think we do. I think if Bosa's on, Warner's back. If we've got the original team from last week kicking ass, I'm telling you now, we've got a big chance. But hey-ho, we see what happens. Um, leave a comment, guys. Tell me what you think of that injuries and the updates. Do you think we have a chance? Friday, I will give you my prediction of everything. Do I think we'll win? I'll give you my prediction then. Let the stories come out on everything. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think of the whole thing. Thank you very much as well for the 57 subscribers. Really fortunate and humble. Appreciate you guys have subscribed. And if you're a new subscriber, I'll be giving you my prediction on Friday. And I will give you my reaction straight after the game. I've got it off. I am watching it. So, yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.